Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I fold AJ's clothes. I start off by turning everything inside out to make it easier to distinguish what each piece is. So what I like to do after I turn everything inside out is just separate everything into sections. That way it's a little easier for me. Um, so this is just like a little romper. We have his PJ bottoms, his PJ tops, all of his little shirts, his shorts. Um, those are just like towels and um, blankets, pants and onesies. And then that is what I would hang. So then I just separate everything and the folding begins. So I like to fold everything into a little ball like Mary Kondo style. That way everything stays in place. It fits perfectly in his drawer. And whenever he does decide to take everything out from his drawer, it, um, I don't have to refold it again. So the way I like to fold his little shirts are I lay them on a flat surface and I first fold one sleeve then the other sleeve and I always try to make it into a little cube so I fold um, the bottom into the shirt just like that. So now moving on to the pants, I fold the pants in half and then same thing, I fold them into a three. So then I fold in the bottom of the pants into the top of his pants. That way it stays in a little cube like that. It's so sad to see that my baby is not fitting into onesies anymore. He's getting so big. So for PJs, I like to um, get the pairs together and I roll them up together. That way it's easier for me to find when I am grabbing PJs from his drawer. So the way I do long sleeves is place the long sleeve, I'll place the pants, fold in one, fold in the other sleeve, and then I grab the pants and stick them in the little shirt. And there you go, you have a perfect little ball and it's just easy to pick off when you're looking for PJs.
Finally. Done. So this is AJ's drawer. I try to put all of his pants together with the pants that he uses most often towards the front. And then I have his shorts on the right hand side and his shirts on the left hand side. And I know that you can buy boxes or containers from the container store or anywhere to place in your drawers. But honestly, if you find a box like the one that I have from Bevita from Costco, it works just as well. Uh, my mom gave me this tip actually. She told me, you don't need to spend money. You can make a box out. You can use a box from anywhere. So this is just how I organize his little drawer and everything fits perfectly. So that is the end. I hope these tips help you organize your drawer and please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share and comment down below if you want to see any other videos like these. I will see you in my next video.